Today I want to talk about passive cooling strategies for keeping your home cool in hot climates. This is a very hot climate and yet our earth bag roundhouse is about 15 degrees cooler inside than out. So 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius temperature difference with no mechanical cooling systems, no air conditioners, no fans, no, no anything. It's just passive strategies, natural strategies of keeping a home cool without the use of machinery and electricity. So we'll discuss about 11 different strategies that you can use. They're all very low cost and simple. The first one is the color of your wall, your exterior wall. You want the walls to have a light color that will reflect the light. One of the most important things have a wide roof overhang. This is about four feet, a little over one meter. So the sun almost never hits the walls. And because they're high mass walls, if the sun hit the walls frequently, that mass would heat up and eventually the heat would transfer inside. So we keep the sun off the walls as much as possible. Another important strategy are windows. We have these, these casement windows that swing open and catch the prevailing breezes. So the breezes come from this way, and these are like a scoop. They act like a, a wind scoop to pull the wind into the roundhouse. Okay. We also have windows on all sides of the house, so the breeze is always blowing through at all times. If you look up above the windows, we have screened openings above the windows. It keeps the insects out, but yet hot air can escape this way. And I don't know if you can see it. You may want to come closer. Above the bond beam, there's a gap of a few inches. In between the, the rafters, there's a gap where hot air can escape. So the Hot air is rising and it goes out the top. Also, we use thatch roofing, so some air can pass through the thatch. We also have one of these screened openings above the door as a transom. Okay, let's go inside and I'll show you our earth coupled floor. This is our earth coupled floor right here. What that means is the floor. The high mass floor, in this case, concrete. It could be tamped earth, stone, CEBs, brick, recycled brick, whatever. The floor is in direct contact to the earth underneath with a, a moisture barrier to prevent wicking of moisture. So the floor is absorbing the coolness of the earth. So it's very cool. It's surprisingly cool, even in this hot climate where you can start sweating in just a few minutes. So this is surprisingly cool. We also have earthen plaster on the inside. All that mass and this mass partition wall, it all absorbs the, the coolness of this earth. The coolness coming up from the earth. And then the breezes help all the hot air escape. So the temperature inside, it stays the same night and day. You don't need an air conditioner or even a fan. It's, it's surprisingly comfortable in here. Okay, some other strategies. You want to look up and see. You'll note the high ceiling. So there's, there's plenty of space for, for hot air to rise and escape. Here you can see the gap above the bond beam to Im improve ventilation. The last strategy I'm going to talk about is vegetation, using plants to keep the building cool. Here we've used a mango tree on the hot southwest side of the house. That's the hottest direction. We have different plants here. So the sun, you can see, it almost never hits the house directly. And also we have a very large tree above here that protects and shades the house 
through most of the day. And again, these are all simple, low-cost strategies that, that anyone can do. Uh, very low-cost, very simple. You save a lot of money on energy bills and also help the environment.